Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at Sir Stanley Matthew Scissors. We're going to be going through the step-by-step -step process. Hope you guys enjoy. first part of the fake, it's a fake of its own, is a fake used by Sir Stanley Matthews called the inside outside. With the inside of your foot, you would touch the ball inside, getting the defender in, and with the outside and speed, you would take the defender out and away. To start this, you would touch the ball with the inside of the foot, and with your standing leg, you would hop to the opposite side of the ball. Now using the outside of the foot, you would take the ball out on a big touch and a burst of speed. Repetition is going to be key for this exercise, so practice slow and then gradually move faster and faster, inside to outside. Now we will add the scissor effect to this fake. Now once we go inside, instead of touching the ball with the outside of the foot, I'm going to go around the ball and carry with the outside of my opposite leg. Same thing as the first one, but now I'm going around in a scissor. So inside, around, opposite leg, outside. Keep repeating this stationary exercise until perfected. Now you can add a little bit more speed. Now we're going to add the dribbling element. Notice how the player now is dribbling at a slow pace, then is trying to execute with quick feet at a faster pace. Your upper body is very important here. Using your hands and your head as gestures to seem like you're going one way and then take the ball outside to the other. Now we need to add pressure. We add a defender there and notice when pressure is added the player now makes more mistakes. We need to push through these mistakes and eventually become smooth on the ball. The repetitions with the defender need to be the same as the repetitions without the defender. This will help us get comfortable on the ball when the game comes. You're only as good as your pressure. This is definitely one of my favorite fakes. The only thing is, it always takes me to my weaker foot. I'm pretty comfortable on my weaker foot. Are you? If not, you need to switch it up and do it on the other side. I hope you guys enjoyed this exercise. And uh, leave your comments, like, share, and we'll see you next time.